Mary came where Jesus was and saw him. Kneeling at his feet, she said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. Disturbed by her weeping and by the grief of those who came with her, Jesus was troubled in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Out of the depths we cry to you, O God. Turn your ear to the voice of our supplication. With yearning hearts we wait for you, more than trusting in your promises. We wait and we hope, more than a century waits for the morning light. For you, O God, are our strength and our hope. Steadfast is your love and your power to set free beyond measure. Today, we mark the first anniversary of the declaration of the COVID-19 pandemic by the World Health Organization. Over the past year, many have suffered pain and loss, and all of us have faced hardship or disruption. Yet, we have also experienced God's presence in new and meaningful ways, witnessing the resiliency of God's people when we trust in this presence. Therefore, our testimony is that in the midst of darkness, uncertainty, and fear, we are not alone. As we look back on both the tragedies and blessings of the past year, we call to mind the story of Jesus visiting the grave of his beloved friend, Lazarus. Though Lazarus had been laid to rest for a period of four days, and death seemed to have the final word, Jesus commanded the stone sealing the tomb to be rolled away. He called forth Lazarus into life and exhorted the people to unbind the once dead man from his grave clothes and set him free. However, we also recall that Jesus was moved in his deepest being and wept at the grave of his friend. As we mark this day, we weep with those who mourn and suffer and serve. Yet we also look forward in confidence, trusting God's power to heal and deliver the creation he called into life and continued, continues to love. Let us pray. God of tender and fierce consolation. Your anointed one wept at the grave of his beloved friend, Lazarus. Cry us into love again. Break open our hearts to all who are vulnerable and alone, to ourselves in our glorious finitude, and to you, the source of all being, so we may face sickness and fear, despair and death, with hope in the resurrection and faith in the one who calls forth life from death. Jesus Christ, our comforter, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Judy will now uh, share with us another reading. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, All you who are struggling or carrying heavy burdens, come to me. Come, and I will give you rest. Put on your yoke. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble of heart. Come to me, and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I invite you to repeat after me. In silence we wait, 
In darkness you come to us. Bring us your light. In silence we wait. In darkness you come to us. Bring us your light. And we'll now mark three minutes of silence. If you wish to stand. Let us pray. Let us join our voices with the one who is gentle and humble, lifting our hearts to God, praying, hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For the sick and suffering, particularly those afflicted by the COVID-19 virus, that that God will bring them to wholeness and restore them to those who love them. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For all who care for patients and their loved ones, that God will give them strength for their service and wisdom to seek help when they are in need. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For the fragile elderly, those struggling with fear, people vulnerable in health, and all enduring isolation in this time of pandemic, 
that they may know the warm embrace of God's compassion. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear God us as we pray, pray God, God of grace and mercy. For decision makers at all levels of government and community health care, that they will be gifted with wisdom and courage for the well-being of those whom they are called to serve. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. For all those who have died, and for mourners who must grieve their loss apart from loved ones, that the time will come when we may gather once again to sing Alleluia over the graves of our beloved. Lift, let us lift our hearts to God. Hear, Hear us as we pray, pray God of grace and, and mercy. For whom or what else do we pray this day? Please pray silently or aloud for those on your hearts. Pray for the Reverend Monique Stone and her family. Pray for Ron and Lois, Lord. Oh, let them hear, feel your embrace. All the members of our parish community and all those in Barhaven. Mm -hmm. Let us lift our hearts to God. Hear us as we pray, God of grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Paula. And we continue with the collect appointed for this day. God of grace and compassion, you shoulder our burdens and ease our heavy hearts. As we mark the first anniversary of the declaration of the pandemic by the World Health Organization, be comfort for those who grieve, strength for those who falter, and eternal rest for those who have died. Buttress our hearts and wills, spark our imaginations, and kindle hope in our depths that we may trust, follow, and love you for our well-being and for the sake of the world. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.